Welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will learn overview of CLI modes like user mode, privileged mode and global configuration mode. Next, how to configure Cisco switch to factory default settings. Then how to configure host name to switch. Then how to assign management IP address to switch. Then how to set default gateway then how to create VLAN and how to name it how to assign interfaces to VLAN then how to save all these configurations finally we will see some useful show commands I have logged into my Cisco switch using console connection if you want to know how to make console connection to Cisco switch or router please watch my previous video I will provide the link in my description. This is the name of the switch. This greater than shows we are in user mode. If you want to know the list of comments available here, type question mark. You can see the list. By pressing enter, you can go one by one. By pressing tab, you can see the entire list. We go into privilege mode by typing enable. Now we are in privilege mode. If you want to know the list of comments available here, type question mark. You can see all the list of comments here. By default, the host name will be switch, but my switch is already named as access one and it already has some configurations. I want to change it to factory default settings. Now let's do it. For that we have to erase startup configuration. Saved configurations are stored in NVRAM. Type this command. Erase startup config. Press enter. Now it says that it will remove all configuration files. Do you want to continue? Yes, we want to erase configurations. Then press enter to confirm that. Before rebooting, we have to delete VLAN database. VLAN database will not be stored in startup configurations. It will be stored in flash. Type this command. Delete VLAN database out of flash. Press enter delete file name yes now we'll confirm press enter finally we have deleted vlan database and start of configurations from the switch now we'll reboot the switch type reload proceed with reload confirm press enter Now the switch started reloading. Now we have deleted the VLAN database and also erased the startup configuration from our switch. So now there is no configuration on my switch. After reloading, we have reached here system configuration dialog. It's kind of setup wizard. It will guide us through initial configuration of this device. But we are going to do it by ourselves. Would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? I'll say no. Now we have returned to the user mode. Now I can configure my switch from scratch. This greater than indicates we are in user mode. When we type enable, we will go into privileged mode. When we type disable, we will go back into user mode. I am going to change my switch name now. Type enable. Now we are into privileged mode. We can't assign host name from privileged mode. Let us try from here by typing host name. Question mark. 
it is showing unrecognized command it won't work here to do that we have to go to another mode called global configuration mode by typing configure terminal now the prompt is changed again we can see here to change the switch name type host name here I will give my switch name as it underscore ideas press enter here you can see our switch name is changed from switch to it underscore ideas now we will see how to assign IP address to this device by assigning IP address we can manage our switch remotely via telnet or secure cell SSH we will see now where to assign this IP address type show VLAN brief command using this command we can see configured VLANs in switch this VLAN one is the default VLAN by default all our ports are assigned to VLAN 1 so we will assign IP address in VLAN 1 interface ok to assign management IP address once again go to global configuration mode type quantity type interface VLAN 1 this is not a physical interface this is a logical interface now type IP address then whatever IP address we are going to assign I will give 10.10.10.10 and followed by subnet mask 255.255.255.0 now we have assigned IP address to our switch for management purpose suppose if we want to reach host or device in the external network we need to route the traffic from our local network normally router in our local network will do this job so we should configure the router's IP address as our default gateway address now let's configure it we'll exit from interface configuration mode from global configuration mode type IP default hyphen gateway 10.10.10.20 this should be IP address of router from our local area network. Now we will see how to create VLAN and name the VLAN. To create new VLAN, go to configuration mode. For this demo, I will create two VLANs. To create VLAN, type VLAN. Here we have to give our VLAN number. I'll create VLAN 100 first. Now we have created VLAN 100. Now we are going to assign name to this VLAN 100. For example, we can assign this VLAN to some department in our office. So I'll assign this VLAN 100 to HR department. To name our VLAN, type name. Here you can give your VLAN name. I'll give HR. Now we can connect all the host devices in HR department to this VLAN 100. Exit. Same way we will create one more VLAN. Type VLAN. Here I will give VLAN 200. Now we will give name to this VLAN and assign it to accounts department. So type name. I will give accounts. Now we have created two VLANs, VLAN 100 and VLAN 200. VLAN 100 is assigned to HR and VLAN 200 is assigned to Accounts. Like this we can create multiple number of VLANs in Cisco switch. Now we will check whether these VLANs are created or not. To check the VLAN status, type Show VLAN Brief. Here we can see our newly created VLANs 100 and 200. VLAN 100 assigned to HR department and VLAN 200 assigned to accounts department. Here we can see 
still no interfaces are assigned to VLAN 100 and 200. By default, all these interfaces are assigned to VLAN 1. Now we will see how to assign interfaces to VLAN. Go to global configuration mode. Type conf t. This switch has interfaces starting from FA 0 slash 1 to FA 0 slash 48. This is a 48 port switch. Now I will assign first interface fast ethernet FA 0 1 to VLAN 100. Type interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1. Before assigning a VLAN, I have to change this port to access port. To do that, type switch port mode access. Now we can assign VLAN to this access port. Type switch port access VLAN 100. Exit now. We'll check the VLAN status now. Type show VLAN brief. Here you can see interface FA0 slash 1 is assigned to VLAN 100. Now I will show you how to assign multiple interfaces to same VLAN. We have to use the range command here. Type interface range. I will use interfaces starting from FA0 slash 2 to FA0 slash 10. First change these ports to access ports type switch port mode access now assign vlan 100 to these nine ports type switch port access vlan 100 now all these nine ports belongs to vlan 100 we will check the vlan status now show vlan brief here you can see multiple interfaces are assigned to vlan 100 Same way, I will assign next 10 interfaces starting from 11 to 20 to VLAN 200. Type interface range. I will use interfaces starting from FA0 slash 11 to FA0 slash 20. First change these ports to access ports. Type switch port mode access. Now assign VLAN 200 to these 10 ports. Type switch port access VLAN 200. Now all these 10 ports belongs to VLAN 200. We will check the VLAN status now. Show VLAN brief. Here you can see first 10 interfaces are assigned to VLAN 100. Next 10 interfaces are assigned to VLAN 200. Remaining interfaces are still belong to VLAN 1. So far we have done some basic configurations to our switch. Now we will see how to save all of our configurations. Before that we will check the running configuration. Type show run. Here we can see all our comments already configured like host name. And the interfaces also we can see here we already have configured the VLAN we are seeing the VLAN to the respective interfaces and the interface VLAN 1 and the IP address we have already assigned to them and the IP default gateway so here all the comments we have configured are also here Okay, now let us see how to save these configurations. Type these commands. Copy. Running config. Startup config. Enter. Destination file name, startup config. Enter. Now all our running configurations are stored in, saved in startup configurations. What it means, we have copied the running configurations from RAM to non-volatile RAM, NVRAM.
Now we will check all these configurations are stored in startup configurations. So we will reload now. After reloading, all these configurations should be saved in startup configuration. I'll confirm reload. Now reload, reloading is in progress. Finally, finally, the switch is reloaded. Press return to get started. I press enter. Enable. Now we are in privilege mode. Now we'll check whether this uh, configurations are saved in startup configurations. Type show startup config. Enter. Here we can see our host name is saved. Here we can see the first 10 interfaces are assigned to VLAN 100 and the switchboard mode is access. And the next 10 ports are assigned to VLAN 200 and the switchboard mode is access. All other ports are in default VLAN. It is not assigned to any VLAN. In the interface VLAN, we have assigned IP address and the IP default we also assign. These are the comments today we have configured. Now quickly we will go through some show commands. If you want to know what type of device you are using, type this command show version here you can see switch software and version here you can see uptime how long the switch is powered on here system image file here you can see the details of interfaces here you can see the hardware details here you can see switch image version and model if you want to know the health and statistics of interfaces Type this command, show interfaces. Here you can see all the details of health and statistics of all the interfaces. Suppose if you want to know the particular interface health and statistics, type this command, show, show interface. I'll mention FA0 slash 1. Here you can see the particular interface health and statistics. If you want to know the MAC addresses land by this switch, type this command show MAC address table. Here you can see the all the MAC addresses land by switch. Suppose if you want to know only dynamically land MAC addresses, type this command show MAC address table dynamic. Our switch don't have any dynamically land MAC address because we have not connected any devices to our switch. So far we have seen how to do the basic configurations in Cisco switch and how to save those configurations. Finally we have seen some useful show commands. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.